Well, after that feeling out matchup in game number one, the intensity should ramp up here in game number two. Welcome back to EA Sports, everybody. I'm James Sabolski. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. That's some smart heads-up defensive play by Shifley. And now it's over to Morrissey. Here he is, all alone! Tremendous defensive play! Well, that's all about pace and foot speed. The ability to get back through the middle of the ice and then find an opportunity to get the stick. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still no score in this one. Colorado's got possession here in their own end. Takes a shot. Comes up with the stop. The Jets have it now. Taken by Morrissey. Slides the puck up from the left side. Winnipeg's on the attack. Can't keep a hold of it. Feeds it to McKinnon. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. Once the stick engages at the lower half of the leg or within the skates, you know it's going to be a tripping call. Well, this gives us our first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. First power play opportunity of the game and also a chance to dictate pace if they can go ahead in this one. Trying to clear from the defensive zone. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. The Avalanche have gained possession. Middle stats got it in the defensive end. Handles the pass from the right wing. Winnipeg's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. Middle stats ready to take the draw here on this power play. The Avs win it. Winnipeg's penalty killers get a hold of it. Gets it out of his own end. The Avs move the puck in the defensive zone. Grabbed along the board by Gerard. Pass it up ahead. Sends it over. Scores! It's in the back of the net. And it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in his playoffs. And you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. And they used their speed on this counterattack and gave themselves an odd man advantage here, James. And what they did was they capitalized. They had multiple looks. They could pass it. They could shoot it. Goaltender couldn't figure it out. And it winds up in the back of the net. The Avalanche have the early 1-0 lead, but I'm surprised it's not more. Yeah, it could be with the way they're playing. They've been all over their opponent, and it's confidence. When you score that first goal, you know that it's going to transcend through the bench. Everyone wants to contribute. So they've been on fire tonight. I'm excited to see the rest of this game. Takes the feed. Middle has been feeling it, James. He got the go-ahead goal, and now the puck's on his stick. Moves it quickly over to Schmidt. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. And a quick save on that one. Lots of time left in this period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Winnipeg's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. The Jets get a hold of the puck along the boards. Colorado stay in possession. Can't get it to go. Colorado's trying to make something happen on the offensive side. And he takes a shot. The Avs 
Bucks have put a lot of pucks on net here in the first, and they continue to lead. Colton's won the draw inside the neutral zone. They'll go to work offensively here. Sends the pass down low. Drives to the sweet spot. Denies him in close. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving, a reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Great defensive effort with the stick. Nice zone entry on the left side. Quick feed to Barrow. That's blocked by Georgiev. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Colorado's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Takes a spill out of the ice and loses the puck. Tries to feed it over to Cogliano. Here's a short pass to Shifley. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Moves it to McCarr. Scores! Wow! The excellence of execution on that one! Yeah, that's a beautiful one-timer, but what I like about it is that he's already said he knows exactly where that puck is coming, and he just wires it home. the better team here in this first period and as a result they've got a big lead nice job tying up his opponent Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall Colorado's got a hold of the puck now McCarr's moving the puck through his own zone quick pass to McKinnon good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick and tries to make a diagonal pass to Shifley. Shot! And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. And play rolls on as he came up with a nice stop there. Georgiev's been outstanding, tracking pucks and making huge saves like that one right there, right from the slot. Made the save on the play. Winnipeg's got the puck in the defensive end. Regains possession at center. The Avs look to start the transition game. Colorado's got it in the offensive zone. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Niederreiter. Feeds it over to Pionk. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. Great reach with the poke check by Taves. Stretches one out to Lekanen. Reads the play and forces the turnover. A great core strength to hang on to the puck after that. Picked up along the wall by Niederreiter. Slides it diagonally to Appleton. The Avs gain control of the puck. Through center. Here we go on the rush. Throws it to the crease. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Oh, that had some heat on it. He makes the save. Winnipeg's got it along the wall. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Ehlers finds an opening, and you know that he's going to try and take it. This time, just gets a little too fancy and loses the puck. And that's stopped away by Taves. And he makes the save on that play. Colorado's gained the line and into the zone. The Jets take over on possession. Here they come up along the wing. Taken along the wall by Toffoli. Slick feed. There's a shot. Way too much congestion blocks that. Down the right side and into the zone. Along the half wall with the puck. And now it's grabbed by Nemestikov. And that's poked away. Sends it quickly for Wood. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Wood. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. The Avs have it against the wall. Parisi's taking it from his own end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Parisi's looking to make something happen here in the corner. Shot. No room for that one to get through. Quick feed to Duhoy. And that goes wide of everything. Takes the feed at the back end. 
And the defenders come up with the puck. The Avs get a hold of it. When you're hounding pucks and applying this type of pressure, it usually results in two things, a penalty or a goal. Here's a short pass to Nemestikov. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Colton's lugging the puck. Carries it in. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Great cross ice pass. And now he moves it to Parisi. A centering team! And that's intercepted. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. The Avs have capitalized on their scoring opportunities and lead comfortably here late in the first. Winnipeg's got it in the defensive zone. Moves it to Connor. Takes the pass. Shot! Big time stop! Trying to get the puck away from the Inferno here. Late goings of this period. The Avs have dominated this one to this point. They lead it 3-0. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. Takes the feed. Quick pass to Connor. Puck scooped up by Pionk. Reaches out and uses the stick. Moves it quickly over to Lekanen. Good stand-up hit. Slides it to Ayafalo. Quick feed to Connor. And it's broken up by a nice defensive use of the stick. Manson's got the puck in his own zone. And he keeps possession. Scooped up along the wall by Manson. Gives him a tap with the stick, and the referees don't like it. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. The Avalanche have been penalized for slashing. Winnipeg sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. The Jets take possession here inside the offensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Monaghan. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Taken by Trennan. Sends it out front. Great defensive heads up play to pick it off. Well, the play might come to an end for a few minutes at the end of this period, but the coaching never stops. I'm sure there'll be a few messages and a few words, and we'll be back with period number two in no time. And the official seems about ready to drop the puck on period number two. The Jets go right back at it on the power play here and win the draw to start the frame. And he's knocked off the puck there. The Jets have it now. And he takes the dish. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. To fall, he's so difficult to stop in tight, and he's got magic hands, but unfortunately this time it doesn't go his way as he tries to get a little nifty. Sometimes simple is the best way to go. Winnipeg's got the puck against the half wall. Here's a short pass to Morrissey. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Monaghan. Trying to get the puck out of harm's way. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Manson's almost out of the box. The Jets' power play has expired. Both teams now back at even strength. Nothing like a strong PK to just elevate the team right from the bottom to the top of the roster. This takes hard work, and they certainly showed why they're on that unit. Colorado's been all over them here in this second period. Just look at the score, and they have dominated in the shot clock, too. The Avs win the draw. Moves it to Connor. And he takes the feed. Here's a chance, and that's blocked away. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Ayafalo. 
The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. Quick pass across to Lekanen. Poked away at center by Connor. Moves it over to Lekanen. The Avs will play it from the defensive zone. Right through, center it into the offensive zone. Quick pass to Truan. Well saved made by Hellebuck. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. We're still in the early stages of this period. 3 0 is where we sit. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Blocked in front. Pinned up along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Dillon. Backtracks with the puck, but maintains possession. Great reach by Nachuskin. Deep inside his own end, right in front. Can he get out of pressure? We got a penalty coming up here on the play. Moves it quickly over to Lowry. Goaltenders at the bench with the delayed penalty being called. They've got an extra attacker now on the ice. The Avalanche have been handed a two-minute penalty for cross-checking. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. They can't get frustrated, but they have to look for the weak side for that one-timer. Colorado's won the draw. Quick feed to Nichuskin. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Oh, he got paddled by Hillebuck. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Here's a short pass to Ehlers. And that's turned aside. Georgiev's made a nice stop there. And that can be difficult to do, James. I mean, sometimes you get cold or you get lulled into a game where you've been in the offensive zone most of the time. So it's often about timely saves that makes the difference. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man advantage. Colorado's going to start with the puck in their own end. And he takes the pass. Loose puck battle along the boards. The Avs gain possession along the wall. And that pass attempt is deflected. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. I just had a gander at the bench and the energy and the body language. I mean, they're defeated, James, and now they have to kill off another penalty down a bunch of goals. It's a tough one. Puck set to drop. We've got some four on four coming up. A few ways to play a four on four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent too. Got eyes on the play. Winnipeg's across the blue line. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. Colton stick handling in his own zone. The Avs penalty has expired. They now go to work on the power play. Colton's got it against the boards. How did he stop that one? Handles the puck. Turns him away. Winnipeg's looking to break out. Good hit to pump him off the puck. And the puck leaves the offensive end. They'll be forced to do it over from center. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Still keeps a hold of it. Colorado's got possession of the puck. Takes the feed from off the boards. Oh, and he can't bury that one. Well, you don't get any opportunities like this in a game, James. You have to execute. He completely misses the net. Puck clears the zone. For the comfortable lead, James, some would say that that power play really wasn't a big deal, but I would say different. It's really important that you push, you continue to push. He's on the board. 
The Avs look like a freight train here in period number two, continuing to find offense. Oh, there's no question that they're steamrolling their opponent here. I mean, the ice is tilted, and it is one way, James. They found a way to maintain possession. How about the shots they're getting on that? Unbelievable. Slides the paddle in there and puts it away. Moves it to Morrissey. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Battle along the wall. Picked up along the wall by DeMello. Winnipeg's got to find a way to stop chasing the game, and the first thing they can do is start attacking and hounding the puck. You have to have it if you want to find a way to put it in. The Jets get a hold of the puck in the open ice. And sends it just out of reach. Back to the point it goes. What a stop! There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Colorado's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. Monahan's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by Sandberg. The Avalanche have it now. And the puck's kicked free. Quick feed down low. Slides the puck down low. Angles it over to Gerard. And a new pass! Dishes it off again here! Oh, and he comes up with a stop! Past the midway mark of the frame, Colorado's been the better team, and the scoreboard reflects it. They lead it 4 0. Takes a shot! Oh, he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. The Jets played along the boards. Winnipeg's got the puck. Huge steal in his own end. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Here they come on the attack. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Schmidt. Tries to make that cross ice speed. Fires it. Great save with the stick. Scooped up along the wall by Monaghan. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Across the line, down the left wall. Pokes it away in his own end. Takes the feed and center and moves up ahead. Quick pass to Niederreiter. And that's punched away with the blocker. Works it across to Dillon. Let's it fly. Off target. Picked up along the boards by Johnson. The Avs will play it in their own end. Moves it to the middle, and he denies that great opportunity there. Knocked around, but keeps it going. He scores, and he completes the hat trick. Now he's been zipping and buzzing along the ice this entire night. Happy James, and man, do the fans appreciate him. That's what you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound, and you have to be able to smell it because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. Colorado's got a lot of skill on this roster, and we are seeing it in full effect. And we're only, what, halfway through this game here in period number two? Yeah, it's pretty impressive, isn't it? I mean, the confidence at which the entire lineup is playing with is outstanding. The puck's on their stick. They're working their magic. They're manipulating. Oh! The Avs still have a lot of time left in this game to even make this even more lopsided. But Cheryl, late here in the second, they are dominant. Well, it's pretty hard to believe that you start with the adrenaline running, you got the competitive juices flowing, and there is no... He scores! Off the pipe and the ball to the twine! Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it? And this time, those inches, they work in his favor. They go right into the net. James, no matter which way you slice it, it is tough for a backup goaltender to come in. You're cold, you haven't had any movement, and it's evident there with that first goal that gets by him. Colorado's having a night as, as some kids.
kids might say, Cheryl. They're falling out there here in period number two. Just loving it out here, James. I mean, they have had control of the play. They've been so dominant. It almost feels effortless. And when it feels effortless, you don't want it to stop. And they've got the intermission looming, and you know they want to stay on the ice. Tries to feed it over to Perfetti. The Avalanche have the puck against the boards. Cross ice pass. Winnipeg's got the puck now. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Puck dumped in. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Quick pass over to Duhame. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. Grabbed along the board by DeMillo. Slides it diagonally to Nemestikov. It's a straight up race for the puck. The Avs scoop it up along the boards. Nice connection on a cross ice pass. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Whistle blows, stopping the play. He's going to get a two minute elbowing penalty on that one. A really aggressive on the play gets his elbow up and just adds some mustard. Well, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 one, one setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. Puck picked up by McKinnon. And he was ready for that save. With the blast. Steps in front of that one. And it's kicked away. Moves it quickly over to McKinnon. Denies that opportunity. Well, this save was way more difficult than it looked, James. I mean, there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through to see, and he finds the puck to make the save. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Quick shot makes the save on the slapper. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. A chance to clear, still on man. The Avs going to work on offense. Stops him with the puck. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Set to continue this power play here in the offensive end. Well, I need to be opportunistic with the power play advantage here, James, but also because the goaltender is extremely fatigued. You can see the wear and tear on him right now. The Jets have it now. Here they come. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Still has possession. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. And now it's to Nichuskin. And he gives it over to Rantanen. Tosses it on to Nichuskin. I have followed. Penalty is almost expired. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. Yeah, they're handedly winning in this one, James, and they didn't execute on the power play, but there's a bunch of athletes on that team that want that job, and it's about executing to the best of their ability. You know they wanted it. Pass across to Gerard. the buzzer two periods down one more to go they always say three is the magic number and we've got period number three next welcome back everyone both teams lined up with set of ice and we are ready to get this third period underway 20 minutes to go here at regulation what has been a very one-sided affair Two-thirds of the way to the finish line in this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? The Jets, coach, won't be happy with their performance tonight in the effort areas and the habits. I mean, they really haven't been hard on the puck. They haven't been strong or physical. And as a result, their opponent has taken it to them because they've had the puck the entire game. Shifley's got it in the defensive end. Morrissey's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Takes the feed up ahead. Winnipeg's got the puck inside the defensive zone. They gain the zone from the left side. Quick feed to DeMello. And that's intercepted by Nachuskin. Moves the puck into the attacking area. The Jets have it from their own end. 
Quick pass across to Ayafalo. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Here's a short pass to Ayafalo. Scores! And they finally get one. Well, and they break through. They finally get rewarded for their efforts here, James. I like the way they played. They didn't get frustrated. They stuck with it, and they wind up getting a goal. It always amazes me, James, to see how quickly these shooters can get the puck off of their stick. I mean, they can shoot off their inside leg, their outside leg. It doesn't matter. But what does matter? The positioning from that slot area. You know that if you get all of it, you're going to tag one home. The Jets are showing a little pride here in the third. And really, that's all that it's about right now. This game is over, and you can see they just want this game and the clock to tick down. They want that final buzzer to go. Toffoli's got it in the offensive zone. Quick feed down low. And that's a great heads up play by Manson. Moves it to Gerard. Here's a chance. And that's deflected off someone in front. And there's a save. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Colorado's on total cruise control early in this third period. Got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. The Avalanche have the puck on the attack. Broken up by Ehlers. Grabs the puck here at the blue line. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. The Avs have it now. The Jets take possession in the defensive end. Quick pass to Toffoli. Deep inside the D zone. He'll take a moment here with the puck. And they send it right back to him. Moves it to the middle. Moves it again. Another pass. Takes the blast. Swats at it with the glove and got just enough of it. It's always a challenge to make a save when there's tons of traffic in front of you, but he does a great job of tracking, staying dialed in, and makes the save. The Avs can simply take this on cruise control based on the lead that they now have here in the third. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. And he shut the door on that last play. Sends the pass over. Looks to set up at the point now. Makes the save as that goes off the glove. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. And there's the whistle as the goaltender will give his team a much needed rest. Both sides lining up for the face-off, and I can think of one padded goaltender who would love nothing more than a quick clear here, Cheryl. Oh, uh, you know it, James, because the puck has been in the offensive zone. Just look at the last shift where they maintain pressure throughout that shift until they got that whistle. So they'll need to continue that because if you're the opponent and you're saying, hey, who's most vulnerable right now? You know it's the goaltender, so you want to keep them in. The Avs have shown no signs of stopping putting pucks on net, and they lead it here in this third. Lowry's won the face-off, and now let's see what they can do. And that goes off a player in front. The Avs move the puck in the defensive zone. Gets the puck in deep. The Jets gain possession. Moves it quickly over to Lowry. Quick shot, and an easy glove save on the play. Georgiev's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Centers are set, face-off ready to resume play. Oh, and he takes possession with a puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Great hustle to come up with the puck. Winnipeg's moving it up the ice. The Avs gain possession along the wall. McCars moving the puck through his own zone. Colorado's in on the offensive attack now. Pass right back. And he passes it up ahead to Appleton. Winnipeg's got the puck in the corner. And that's off a stick. Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Colorado's 
been way more active here tonight on the ice, and they have certainly capitalized on their opportunities and continue to lead in the third. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Poked away at center by Drouin. Picked up along the wall by Morrissey. Angles it over to Nemestikov. Good use of the body on the play. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. And now he tries to get it across to Perfetti. That's moved up ahead. Drouin's crossed the line and gained the zone. Quick feed to Morrissey. Tosses it to Barron. Poked away in the neutral zone. The Jets get a hold of the puck in their own end. Lekkonen's got it in the defensive zone. That's dumped in, and they'll get a fresh set of legs out on the ice. Here's a short pass to Morrissey. Receives the pass. Toffoli's got to be the player that sparks his team. Everyone knows that he's their star sniper, and he just can't find the back of the net and is extremely frustrated. Answered the call there. Georgiev's able to make that save look easy. James, it's because he gets to the top of his crease, he cuts down his angles, and then he can redirect it to safety. A silver chance! attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. Winnipeg's got possession here in their own end. Aya follows, gain the line and on the attack. The Avs gain possession in their own end. Up along the wing. Feeds it down low. And that pass is redirected. Takes the feed at the point. Oh, great glove save! Where'd that come from? Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. The Avs offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. They win the draw and go on the attack. Great read with the stick. Winnipeg's through center and now in the offensive end. And he gets just enough to keep it out. And that doesn't reach the net. Puck grab by Wood. Sends it over to Johnson. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. And that slides right out to center ice. And now he angles it across to Cogliano. Back at the point, they set it up. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Shifley. And he maintains possession of the puck here. And there's the whistle icing the call. Colorado's offense has put on a show tonight, and here they are in blowout mode late in the third. The Avs win the draw. Center wins that one. He's got a little jump. He's in the clear. Broken up from behind. Moves it to McKinnon. He carries the puck up along the wing. From the point, they take control of it. Quick pass to Nutriskin. Oh, turns it aside once again. Just fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive saves. How athletic. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Bad save by Brislav. Colorado's got it in the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to McKinnon. And that's picked off in the defensive end. Slides it on over to Pionk. Here's a shot. Oh, solid save by Georgiev. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. The Avalanche has big time hit against the wall there. Wow, that was a tough one, man. That was thunderous, and it even broke a pane of glass. There's going to be a stoppage in play here. Been on a roll offensively tonight. Lots of chances, and they lead it late in this third. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. Loose puck battle along the boards. Winnipeg's got the puck. A 
along the wing up the neutral zone. Here we go, pucks in deep. Quick feed to Lekanen. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. And he's ridden off the puck. Back to the blue line. Oh, so good. what a stop! Wow, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind them. He's gonna be the foundation tonight. Colorado's had a lot of success tonight on their scoring chances, and look at the result here late in this third period. Here's a rip! Oh, gets a grip on that one as he just got enough of it. Works it across to Appleton. And the final seconds ticking away here in regulation. Oh, he got hit by a freight train there. What a collision. And that's just out of reach. It's frustrating, James. You're down by a bunch late in the game. You know you're not getting back in it, and then you deliver a hit. That's all frustration right there. Monahan's on the attack in the offensive zone. And the crowd's on their feet, saluting the team after a hard-fought effort this evening. Takes it to center. You know, this is a tale of two hockey teams right now, Charlotte. One end of the ice is a team that has elevated their game into the postseason, and another that just doesn't seem ready for prime time right now. Well, and you got to give a lot of credit to the team that's up by two, right? I mean, they've got a two-game series lead here, and it's all because of the way they've played. They've really put their opponent on their heels. Now if they can get a three-game lead, I mean, you know, this is almost as good as over. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabosky. Thanks so much for joining us here this evening. The playoffs roll on, and we will see you then next time.